Mama me. Ah, guys, but if you're hungry, you're hungry. I shouldn't eat a burger because it's male. No. Bye. So, like, I kind of distanced myself, but not fully. This time, sign. I chase. <laughs> Get out. When my mother asks about you, I say, I don't know. I do resource. Oh, wait, no, think about it. No, you come to my house and do it for free. That's a resource. Cutting friends off is a little hard because. Sometimes the snakes have been with you since you were. Okay, hi guys. This is super low quality. Like I don't already know. I hope you can hear me. I really do. But basically a while ago, maybe I don't remember honestly, but I filmed with KP and I still had part two of the video because I'm a lazy hoe who doesn't like to edit. But that's besides the point. So I hope you guys enjoy this part you're about to watch, which is the remainder of that video, which I didn't put in. So that's basically it, I guess. Before we go on, please don't forget to like this video, share it with one of your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more. Also, leave a comment because I like interacting with you guys. What, wait, what is love? Let me actually Google it. Like, let's <laughs> get like a Webster. Dictionary or whatever Oxford whatever we find online definition of love hold up according to whatever dictionary um, Google uses when you type in a d when, <laughs> when you are looking for <laughs> a definition I would just want to put this in the mouth um, It says love is an intense feeling of deep affection a great interest and pleasure in something Yeah that is what it is. Great interest and pleasure. Hmm. My brain has gone too far. Ha. Interest, pleasure. In someone, that's love. Oh. So if you never had deep interest or, or pleasure <laughs> in somebody, then you have never, my friend, been in love. love. Why is she about to go? Is that love? I want to try to correct you because mine might be wrong. <laughs> we just use the English word love. love. Now check, check for last. People need to understand the difference. Oh, let him know. Let him know. I'm in love with her. Nigga, you are in lust with her. Okay, so lust is strong sexual desire. Have strong sexual desire for someone. A passionate desire for something. A sensuous appetite regarded as simple. Oh, okay. Wait, we'll read the first one again. The first definition. Strong sexual desire. Uh huh. So, this is the way the last works. You look at her, she comes in in a nice tight dress. Breasts so you know, popping. The backside looking like a mountain. A little carved. Big booty, baby. And you know, every step she takes is like an earthquake. Doom, ka -ka 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 -ka. <laughs> Doom, ka -ka 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 -ka. You look, you and your friends look and you're like, wow. You know, you go talk to her. Her personality is horrible. It is useless. It's not worth your time. But you, you're just looking at the features. You know. Yeah, the places. And do you think you start talking to her? She's very hard to talk to. Next thing you know, ah, I want that babe. Ah, I think I love her. Who is sir? That is lost. You looked at the breasts and the bums and you thought it is love. When it's not. You just want to put yourself into the uh, breasts and the bums. That is all. I think it, the personality is of a hidden. It is very horrible. But you're just looking at the breasts and the bums and you think, I'm in love. No, my friend. No. In, no. Even, even girls, even girls, they follow the last. You see, you see a, a boy with a, with a nanny, with a pack of the six. Eight if he's Shaka Zulu. <laughs> No, as in, have you ever seen Shaka Zoom? Like the series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That dude had eight. Ba, 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 ba. Meanwhile, okay, I'm joking, I'm ripped, me, I still have. But yeah, you know, you look at him, you got talk to him, he's got an attitude, because you know, I've seen there boys with the attitude problems. I've also been told that hey, you've got attitude problems, you know. No, I don't. I don't have attitude problems. It is you. Anyway, so you know. <laughs> 
you know, he's got those man, you know, those my chicks, you know, where, you know, he's got that kind of, just like a look. Like, like a, a jaw. Like a jaw, like he's just, oh. And even he's got a beard. <laughs> Yemba once told me, how can you be heartbroken over someone who doesn't have a beard? <laughs> Beards are winning. Anyway, no, not at you. If you don't have a beard, you're losing. <laughs> Everyone is winning in their own ways. Some is the bum, some is the breasts. Some is, I don't know, intelligence. Uh, you know, you see a guy, you know, eight pack, uh, man, even <coughs> he talks like what? Let's see. <coughs> Hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, good, you know. Just off the car, you also. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, oh, oh. You text, he starts ignoring you. You try to talk to him, even send the special pictures to him. Oof. If you don't know what the special pictures are, they're the nudies. Send to him, hey, he leaves them on scene. <laughs> and after two weeks, he texts you, like, hi, you talk, you can, you can clearly tell this person doesn't have interest in you, but you, you look at the abs and the what and the jaw and the beard and the nyo. The voice. The voice that took you to places just by saying, hi. Uh, oh, and this is just like a heads up. Guys, sometimes, we don't say hi. No. Like, if, if I've never met you mm -hmm. at all, this is me personally. I've never met you. A yeah, nice thing I'm trying to, you know. Get in. You know, I'm trying to impress you. I'm trying to, you know. But, ah, this is actually a nice boy. I don't say hi. I say ha. Ah. You say what? Ha. Ha? Ha. Ha, like I'm laughing? No, not ha. Yeah, it's more of a. <clears throat> you know, it's ha. Ah. It's just a ha. You don't have, you don't say hi. You say ha. Ah. This is how it works. So she comes up and she says, hi. I go, hi, how are you? See how that went? Mm -hmm. Not, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? That's how she feels that, oh, that came from, you know, the deep down in the chest, he's got Ooh. the voice. Meanwhile, I just said, ha, not hi. Damn. Y'all mean for that. No, I just smart. The same way you, you guys pass us like six times when you're trying to not like you've already spotted us. Now you want you to spot you, so you. I will forget how to walk. I can't be going both ways. I'll forget how to walk. Right? Oh. <laughs> that's, that's like a walk you're passing us with. <coughs> you even go left, right. Okay. Jump like an earthquake. Yeah, so don't confuse the last with the love. They're not the same. The acts are the same, but them. In definition and in feeling. No. No. Okay, I have a question. Yes. Since you are representing the females, mm -hmm. I shall ask it to you. So, we are at a restaurant. We order the exact same food. It comes looking exactly the same. No difference whatsoever. Even the way the chips are aligned is the same. But mm -hmm. you want to taste my food. Why? <laughs> Let me say, okay, for me, food always looks more attractive when I'm not the one who ordered it. But it is the exact same food. But it tastes different. How? <laughs> it just does. Like, if I am to order, I don't know, let's just say something simple. If I go order fries, maybe at, um, what's this place here? Maybe I go to Pizza Hut, Kablonga, whatever, one of these places I order fries, right? It just doesn't taste right, or it won't taste the same than if someone has fries and I find them, and I'm like, hey, can I have one? It's just different. Then when you buy your own, you're like, mmm. I don't understand. I'm telling you. They'll probably, the fries will probably made in the same chipotle. <laughs> oh wait, these restaurants don't use my porto. Oh, deep fryer. Same deep fryer. You can find the same fries that are in my bag and in your bag are exactly the same. From the same potato, that's a big one. <laughs> but you want to taste. If I've not tasted, you want to eat. Oh, uh, no tasting, maybe. I don't know who ate your food. Mm -hmm. This girl, I won't say her name. No. No, the girls are food. Me, before I, before I could eat, I just would take a my plates. <laughs> hey, look, all the way from her side of the table, she can go. I'm looking at her, she tastes. She tasted hers. Continue eating. Next thing you know, like you know, she's doing it. Like okay, no. Maybe if you ask, you don't just like poke, poke your fork into someone's food. Yeah, she kept you know, she kept tasting. No, that wasn't tasting, that was devouring. That was eating. 
she does it bear, 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 bear. I'm there looking and at the end of it all she didn't finish her own food. I would have taken her food to go. I would have been like to go please. Then when when getting out or wherever she was going, she gets the bag, you're like, I'm like where do you think you're going? Can you leave the bag? That is mine. <laughs> it does not belong to you anymore, it is mine. But girls, if you're not my girlfriend, don't touch my food. I'll beat you. <laughs> okay, I don't I don't beat girls, but you know, I'll tell you off. <laughs> we're not allowed to touch girls, my mother raised me right. Big ups to my mother. I love my mother, guys. <laughs> if you love your mamas, you won't treat these girls badly. I'm just saying. No, I don't treat girls badly. <laughs> they treat me badly. <laughs> but me to be my kid, Say what's up, group. What's up? That's how we show you together. I'm going to be my kid, Okay. If you want me, why can't you say I? Honestly, from here on out, if you want us, slide. Very opportunity. Not even slide. slide. You see me walking in public, just come jump on me. What? I don't mind. But hey, if you are if you know that you weigh more than me, <laughs> imagine then you just go down on the rock. In a, I weigh 70.75 kg. I weigh this morning. So if you are if you are more than that, please don't. Please don't <laughs> jump on me. I don't want. I might manage. But not for long. My legs will crumble and we shall fall like the walls of Jericho. Like the walls of Jericho fall. I don't know. <laughs> or you'll go down like the lost city of Pompeii. Anyway, it was bent. <laughs> you go down, wait. Didn't it, it go was... down? It went down though, didn't it? Anyway, it was bent. <laughs> but it went down. It was bent. It didn't go down. <laughs> but it burnt down. The ashes. structures were still there. It was bent. I watched the movie. Those two died <laughs> kissing. <laughs> Remember, they, they died kissing while they were standing, did they fall? No. So uh, hence them they not fell. going down. The ashes went down. No. What? Me know them no standing. And they remain standing. I know. So they're standard. <laughs> but no, OG, like, shoot your shot. Huh? If you know that you are you actually have interest in either me or my friend here, just here. Not even I don't just be just be direct. But not too direct. Don't take a picture of me in public and they send it to me and I see you. <laughs> I'll block you. But OG, you know, if you if you if you know you this is 2019 guys. We're getting old. You're getting old. I'm still very full. <laughs> Should we break a spirit? No. <laughs> Life will teach you a lesson. <laughs> but you know, you know, just you know, approach. Say hi, get to know one another. You know, a heads up to guys. If you see a fine mama that you like, don't go head face that you know I like you, what what? Be her friend. Mm. That is a very sure way of, you know, be her friend. Just her friend. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously you have your intentions, they'll be there in your heart, you want to keep them and just shout, hey baby girl, I love you. But you know, be her friend. He has peace. Make her laugh, you know, become someone that she wants to be around. Then from there, you know, you promote yourself. I stand and believe you. But if she has a boyfriend, continue with that same spirit of being a friend. They'll break up one day. Or they'll argue one day. You know, I always have that energy like it will end one day, but some people it just never ends. It's really annoying. You know, my crush is still with her boyfriend. Still waiting. Yeah. About three years now. <laughs> I think. Let it go, my guy. Oh. Not letting this go. Mm -mm, no, no, no. That's, uh, that's her name, I've just said it in a certain way. When you guys break up, baby girl, I'll be here just to look at you because I know I can't handle you out of my league. Um, you see, you're shooting yourself down from the jump. Mm. No, let's just be honest here. Standards of living. It Social is very, development. It is very difficult. A girl who dated a guy who drives, you know, Range Rover, what, what, every weekend, but she can't go just, you know, because they feel like, what, what. To degrade to a guy, she can like him, yeah, but it will be very dif difficult because she's used to the lifestyle. Going down to, you know, Galo, baby, kwa babasi, it's a pesa na parebi, then it's a good angry lion. That's love. I know, it is love. It can work. I'm not saying it can't, but it is difficult for me, you know, a certain lifestyle to just. Because mm -hmm. those girls, you know, they, they even give them so they've given themselves, ah, if he doesn't drive, then it's fine. As much as I'm tired of stepping on ants, I could take a nigga who walks. I'm tired of stepping on ants, but you know, it's fine. 
It's fine. These are the ones that it's you want. Not, eh, not that a kayak. I'm coming to see you. Okay, you should hoot when you reach my gate. <laughs> you know, bus. You're just there thinking about it. No, guys, that meme, as in for you, it happened. I was on my way to see my crush. She lives in Kuma. What's this place? Chadli. Yeah. But I'm almost there. Alright, you should hoot when you reach my gate. About eh? that, big girl. You know, I just looked at that text. I, as in there, I saw. Then, you know, I just kept quiet for 10 minutes. 10 good minutes, I was quiet. She texted me again. Where are you? I'm like, I met my uncle. He sent me, you know, I turned around and went home. <laughs> I went home. Now you know the truth if you're watching this. I went home. Home. I didn't, yeah. You know, in, in South Africa right now, if you're watching, I went home. I didn't meet my uncle. I went home. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's a little on the lengthy side, but it is honestly so funny. Like, I was trying to keep a straight face, but this dude's too funny. Follow me on the Instagram. I need new friends. All of his socials will be in the description box below, and you will come around soon, one time soon. We will film more because this was fun. <laughs> Please don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye. Subscription.